you know, we could all use some encouragement. And I've got some good news for you. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark. Greetings, friends, and welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark. I'm glad you're with me. We're going to pick up the story of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, at verse 13. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, departed to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, and they did not have more than one loaf with them in the boat. Then he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It's because we have no bread. <laughs> Stop right there. Now, if you think back, the last thing that happened is Jesus has done this great sign, right? They fed the 4,000 people. And then they get to Dalmanusia, and the Pharisees come out and begin disputing with him, demanding a sign. Now, he's just performed this incredible sign. Now the Pharisees want a sign. Prove to us that you're the guy. Perform for us, Jesus. And he refuses to do that. Why do you seek a sign? You won't get a sign. No sign for you, Jesus says. And then they get into the boat and they go to the other side of the lake. And as they're going, I guess somebody got hungry and the disciples realized we forgot to pack lunch. Now, again, I think one of the things that we sometimes forget in our very busy, very rapid world is how slow things were in the first century AD. And so a trip across the lake in a wind-powered boat or ore-powered boat probably was an all-day event. This was not something that was, you know, hop in, fire off the engines, and let's go. This was, uh, okay, well, we're going to spend the next several hours floating across this lake, doing a few things and, and taking care of business. And, uh, and so, again, they got in the boat, and they didn't pack a lunch. They had no food. And Jesus... Jesus, meanwhile, is mulling over this encounter with the Pharisees. And so he looks up to his guys and he guys says, guys, take heed. You don't want to have the leaven of the Pharisees, the leaven of heaven and of Herod. And what he's talking about with the leaven, of course, is that it's this idea that embeds itself and then grows and grows and grows. Leaven course, is the yeast that goes into a loaf of bread. You put a little bit of leaven in the lump, and then it leavens the whole lump. Jesus is going to tell us that's the kingdom of God looks like that, just this little bit that spreads and fills the whole thing. And what he's saying is that there's this idea, this idea that the Pharisees have and, and that Herod has. See, for Herod, well, that was unfortunate. So he's talking about this, this idea that the Pharisees have, that, that Herod has. For the Pharisees, it's really about religious power. For Herod, it's about political power. And that desire for power, that desire for control begins to infiltrate, and then it controls everything you do. And so Jesus is basically saying, look, see, the Pharisees are demanding a sign. They've come. And what they're wanting to do is exercise their authority, their power over me. They're trying to make me do what they want me to do. And, and I won't do that. I'm not here to perform for the, the power hungry. But take heed. Because if you let this get into your thoughts, if you let this get into your heart, this desire for status, this desire for power and control, it will influence every decision that you make. My friends, that's still true today. And we see a lot of this, even in the church, unfortunately, we do struggle with this leaven because we struggle with the concepts of success that the world has placed on us. We struggle with the ideas of having power and influence in the world rather than letting Jesus be Jesus. We often try to take things into our own hands and be in control of our own destinies, right? Do our own things, make our own ways, be in power and control. 
take heed of the leaven. But the disciples were hungry. <clears throat> and when Jesus said leaven, they thought bread. And they said, well, he must be mad because we, we forgot to pack a lunch. And here's a just a classic problem that we fight with every day of our lives is Jesus is trying to do one thing. Jesus is trying to teach us one thing. He's, he's talking about something very important. And we are caught up in our own little lives and our own minor struggles. Sometimes we're just hungry and we're not listening very well. And so we miss this important idea that Jesus is trying to get across to us because we're distracted by the world. That's what's happening in the boat on the way back to the other side. So I encourage you today, first, take heed. Look, it's not about you. It's not about us. It's not about how much power and control and influence and how big and successful we can be. That is not what the kingdom of God is about at all. The kingdom of God is about faithful followers walking with Jesus, listening and doing those things that he commands us to do, that his will will be done. And in the meantime, we need to not get so caught up and distracted by our worldly needs and desires that we miss out on the deeper spiritual things that Jesus is trying to lead us and teach us about. It's not about the bread, kids. But we'll get to that next time. I hope you're enjoying this Bible study, this quick devotion. If you'd like more content, you'd like to know more about me and see more of the things that I'm doing, check out my website, theeclecticmonk.com. There you'll find out about my video vlog, my podcast, and a whole lot of other stuff. Hope you'll join me there. Thanks.